Sean, your team to go first. What do you think the nation have been talking about this week? Um, the Italian Prime Minister, Silvio Berlusconi. Michael uh, Jackson. What, sorry? Michael Jackson. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, let's stick on one thing, shall we, for a minute? <laughs> Sean, Sean had a guess there, and he was, he was probably right, wasn't oh, he? Okay. So let's... <laughs> We can talk about Michael Jackson if you want. I'm happy to do it if you want Michael Jackson to be our answer. Well, you, what do you think the nation should be talking about, Joey Essex? Michael Jackson. <laughs> Michael, what have you been saying about Michael Jackson this week? I don't know. I don't know whether it's true about them, like, you know, you know about the whole thing where did he... did the doctor mean to kill him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what do you think? I don't know. Well, he's been... <laughs> well, it's been fascinating talking to you, Joey. <laughs> He's actually still alive. Yeah, Joey. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's still. That's what I've heard. Is he still alive? He's on some random like desert island somewhere. Just. Well, yeah. He's on a random That's desert. That's not a rumor. Yeah. That's a load of bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> Where did it go wrong for Hillary? Hillary wasn't the ideal person that we get excited about. She wasn't a woman who got people really excited. She weren't fit enough. She, she, well, Joey. <laughs> um, yes. Joey. She's a grandmother. Yeah, she's yeah, 69 no, no, but, years of age. She's kept her, herself from well. From her pictures, she looks all right. I see her, I went to America and I see her like live on TV and she didn't look all right. But she's oh, sick. What about Donald? Fitness. I mean, does Donald do it for you? Donald? Is he fit? Oh, he don't do nothing for me. I mean, I don't, I don't even know him, you know what I mean? <laughs> Joey, do you, do you only vote for people you know? I didn't vote. I couldn't vote. No, because you've got to draw an X and be able to write. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers on buzzers. One more thing to get. Well, it's Frankie Cocosa, isn't it? After so much abuse, he's finally gone. Thank and God. I liked him. How did he get so far anyway? Do you must, think he's Joe's must have loved, Joe's must have loved him. It's the bad boy. He couldn't thing, sing. Isn't it? He didn't have any discernible talent, and yet he seemed to be a big star. But he's still got Joey it. Essex. There should be some kind of. <laughs> Rob, what else, what else do you think the nation should be talking about this week? Um, I'm a celebrity. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, it's back. Yes, Thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say sort of, but... Yes. <laughs> I don't know, when's the crossover? When's it crossover? Um, yeah, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here, Jungle Show's back now, isn't it? No, you used to work out there, you used to do the... What was the show on after I'm Yeah, so I used to do the spin-off show, <clears> and we talk about us in Jungle, but I did that for three years, I miss it. So I really miss it. Sometimes I just go to Rainforest Cafe for a sit-down. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, did you remember I was there? Yeah, I was there when you yeah, were there. respect what you saying. Yeah. Yeah, what I liked about when you were there, this got, Joey's got... I mean, I'm, I'm not going to have a go at your teeth, because I can't really, you know... <laughs> but when you was on it, when you used to brush your teeth, and I don't know if you still do this, this made me laugh so much. He doesn't move the toothbrush, you just shake your head. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's so rude. rude. <laughs> Mate, I still do it. So how do you brush your teeth? Can you every just... single day, you know that. <laughs> yeah, but Joey, when you brush your head, you just keep the comb still and just move your head. <laughs> no. I'm almost afraid to ask this, but how do you wipe your arms? <laughs> <laughs> Completely normal. <laughs> yeah, that is what it is. <laughs> Joey, what was it like in the jungle? Um, yeah, it's weird. It's just like you're just trapped in a jungle, really, with no food, starving, <laughs> hungry. Who else was in there with you? Um, Kian, yeah, that... who won it. Yeah, um, where did you come? Did you play? I come fourth. That's good. That's it's all right. Yeah. It's all right. I liked it. Yeah. It's not about winning. All right, I'm Hillary not. Clinton. Hey, you talking about Did you know Joey, Joey Barton? What, sorry? Joey Barton. Do I know Joey Barton? Do you know him? I, do, I know of Joey Barton. QPR footballer. Yeah, he's a footballer. He's a footballer for QPR. Yeah, he's been quite offensive to him. Yeah, he... I think he's jealous. Gel. Hey, he's totes gel, man. He's totes gel of Towie. I'm enjoying saying that. I don't understand any of those words. <laughs> <laughs> what happened with Joey Barton? What did he say about you? Um, I'm not really sure. He basically just, just like, he was, I think he was trying to mug a few people off, saying... He was he... mugging people off? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> he was... Knocking their tea. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh. Basically, we went to a premiere, and I think he saw a few people there. So, um, afterwards, he decided to tweet just saying, Towie freaks, weirdos, things like that. <laughs> he called you a freak and a weirdo? He called me a freak and a weirdo. I was well offended. That's not nice, is it? But he was tweeting That's... at half one in the morning, so stop tweeting, go to bed, man, on your no. ice cream. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 
Jerry Barn. What are you doing up at half one? You should be in bed. You're really naughty. <laughs> Joey Barton did say some very unkind things about The Only Way is Essex recently, and I think, it, I think it's only fair that you have the right to reply. Let's have a look at you in action on The Only Way is Essex. <laughs> Sorry, Joey... Joey Barton's seen that and he's calling you an idiot. <laughs> you could have got on with Johnny. I couldn't get away with that. I, look, I get nervous in front of women. You, the banter just rolls out. <laughs> 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 you know, I'm stuck for words. <laughs> I can't even think of animals. <laughs> My favourite the... animal is a train! Yeah. <laughs> it's not one of the greatest. <laughs> <laughs> in, the, in the sort of pantheon, in the list of great chat up lines, what's your favourite animal? I don't think it's ever really sort of been a clincher, has it? Do you want a better, <laughs> you want a better chat up line? Did you fall from heaven? Cos it looks like you landed on your face. <laughs> OK, so most people would rather be more attractive than more intelligent, true or false. <clears throat> What's the point of being intelligent? I'm not, and I've done all right. <laughs> what? No, it's, it's just... <laughs> so, 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 so. Well, you've got to pick and choose, innit? So would you rather be better looking or more intelligent? <sighs> better looking. <laughs> What's, the, What's the point of being intelligent? <laughs> if he does become intelligent, his career's over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what about you? Because you've got a watch, but you famously can't tell the time. Is that just like as a showpiece watch, or what's the vibe? Well, I mean, watches are more for fashion, aren't they? Really, of not course really they for are. Yeah. yeah, tell me about it, brother. <laughs> yeah, but you. <you're>, <laughs> <laughs> Joey, actually, you're really clever, and it's all part of a sort of clever act. I am. I'm really clever. I am. Yeah. I mean, I didn't do well. With you... I didn't do well with school academically. I'm not gonna lie. I got not really smart. <laughs> no, but I, I, I generally am. I am generally really clever. People don't know that, and that's why they always take laughing because they're taking me very seriously. I, I believe mm. you. I believe you. I'm what's very your clever. Like, what do you think is your cleverest moment? Or what's the what's... just being an absolute G? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just being a legend. That's what I'm good at. Everyone else out there doing this, what, brushing their teeth. So, I mean, like different. an idiot. Very unique. This guy. Uh, no. Jimmy, it's like that. We're a unique people, you know? Oh, it's just me. <laughs> <laughs> Rob just pulls up at a car wash. They think he's out to wash the car. <laughs> get, get the roof off! <laughs> the truth is, you know, the noble thing to say, and everyone wants to look good and go, I want to be more intelligent, that's a much better thing. But I think the truth, deep down, you know, you can't Instagram them brains. <laughs> I've never sent, been sent a brain pic. <laughs> yeah, you've never, never sent you a brain pic, yeah. have they? Like, word of the day! <laughs> <laughs> what, Rob, what, what do you think will get you further in life, being good-looking or being intelligent? I'll take either. Oh, <laughs> don't you oh, say that, that you absolute <laughs> chancer! <laughs> I think, you know, it might be boring being too attractive. <laughs> No, it's boring being too clever. Cos you know everything. What's the no, point of no, life? I'm just you don't learn boring. anything. But space travel! <laughs> yeah, but I ain't gonna go to space. <laughs> Joking. If you could design your own rocket, imagine that there's people out there who get out of bed and think, I'll design a rocket, I reckon. Yeah, cure and also... Cancer. I mean, cure for cancer. I think I'll cure cancer today. Yeah. Breakfast first, I'm not an animal. Don't... <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think different things, like, when you say be more attractive, but different things make people attractive, isn't it? Like, mm. I remember what I, what I found so attractive about my wife before when we first started getting together, well, her parents were mortgage-free. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> so, in a way, it sort of it depends what your cup of tea is of attractiveness. Kathy, would you go for looks or would um, you go for intelligence if you were looking for a partner? Bookish but handsome. What's a bookish? <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard the word bookish. Someone who looks Have like... you audience? Yeah. Okay. I've heard a few no's. He's <laughs> <laughs> it's people someone who books. looks like they read a lot of books, so they might go around carrying a book, maybe a pair of glasses. Come on, I know on. you're joking about. No, 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 <laughs> genuinely. <laughs> Are you serious? Bookish like is books, someone who bookish. likes books. Oh my days! He's got, he's got a book. He's a published author. I've got a book. Do you want my book? Did someone ghostwrite it, or did you write yes, it yourself? Yes, obviously I didn't write it myself. Come on, be serious. <laughs> So what, what do you think, Ashley? Would you rather be better looking or would you rather be more intelligent? What do you think? Oh, intelligent, because more then I would trick people into bed with my keen knowledge of geography. <laughs> 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 the, 
<laughs> see what I mean? That's just not good intelligence. Oh, Joey! <laughs> <laughs> not good intelligence. Trying to get people into bed by being intelligent. Come on, man. What? Do you know what I mean? But do you always go for like a woman based on her looks? Do you always no. just look at one and go bang tight, or like do you actually go for personality? No, I go for personality. Exactly, and personality is a sign of intelligence. Obviously, looks are bonus. Don't get me wrong, but yeah. you're going for intelligence in the in the women in your yeah, life. Yeah, because then they can help me out. <laughs> I, I would, I'd love to be clever, don't get me wrong. If I had a clever brain, I was born so clever. Sorry. Don't get me wrong, that's you it. Know what, it feels like we're in The Wizard of Oz now. <laughs> Does it? Has he got a brain? Is he clever? The uh, Wizard of Oz. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't sit there and study this childhood film and go, yeah, okay, so we ain't got a brain. And he, yeah, he likes bricks. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Joey, I don't think you were giving this film your full attention. <laughs> Sean, Joe, Joey, what do you like the look of? Um, the waxing. OK, all right, so here's your related question. <laughs> Most men are too embarrassed to undergo beauty treatments. True or false? Well, you've undergone a few. Or is that a natural tan? This is natural. Oh, is that's a I've natural tan, is it? Uh, I've had sunbeds, but I've quit sunbeds now. I don't have no sunbeds no more, so... You've quit sunbeds? Quit. My <laughs> God, oh. you've made some sacrifices, <laughs> haven't you? Yeah, no. <laughs> when did you quit sunbeds? But last week. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what's your daily regime, beauty-wise? What do you do, beauty-wise? Well, obviously, you know, I wake up, look at myself, and I think, green. But then I get, then what? Then I, then, <laughs> then I get in and I get in the shower, do the air afterwards, bang, bang. What are you saying? <laughs> bang, bang, and who's over there? That's meant to be the mirror. Oh, I thought that was your carer. <laughs> Joey, you take very good care of your hair, I've noticed. Yeah. Have a little, uh, have a little look at this. <laughs> so I'm what gonna, do you think? I'm going to get you a diffuser. A what? <laughs> and then the cat technically say, even that's a further, another step away from blow drying. A diffuser? Yeah, it's one, you know, the little spikes in that you just run it through. What it does, it breaks it up and you'll get no split ends. <laughs> <laughs> What have you, you done with a real Johnny Vegas? <laughs> Johnny, what do you use on your hair? Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, sunshine, I had a perm, all right, that, two minutes. I used to lacquer, I used a mousse, I used a diffuser. Didn't towel dry, cos that created heat and friction. No, I wrapped that and I give it 20 good minutes. I treated it with respect. I hope that shit falls out. <laughs> I didn't mean half into that, man. Yeah, well, you did, and I'm, you know what? <laughs> Give out for that. <laughs> Look after it. You don't know where you go while you're young. <laughs> so, so what, do, what do you think? Do you think people believe in ghosts? I mean, <sighs> Joey does, because he wrote a book for him, but... <laughs> <laughs> I actually do. I don't you believe mean? in ghosts. I believe in spirits. Well, like Jaeger. <laughs> What's Jaeger? Jaeger, man. I'll have a nice day. No, do you genuinely believe in ghosts? I don't believe in ghosts, man. I believe in spirits. What's the difference between a ghost and a spirit? Well, I don't believe in Caspar, but I believe in... <laughs> I, in, in what? I, be I believe in, like, there might be a spirit around me now. Do you know what I mean? Like, yes, this I... is a sign of protection. I think it's a sign you've been to Argos. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Gemma here for a reason. Gemma, the, the Leverton Inquiry. I... Yeah. <laughs> I'll be honest, I don't know what it's all about. <laughs> Is this about the politicians being corrupt, three of them? Weren't they bribed and paid off? I do know about this. I hope that to thing? God you are called to the Leveson Inquiry. <laughs> that, would be, that would be the best TV of all time. Is Levington a place, then? Is Levington a place? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, this is the Leveson Inquiry. <laughs> I'm starting to realise the true consequence. If the only way is Essex, we are all knackered. <laughs> Have a look at this car. This is a driver that basically... He cleared his windscreen. <laughs> <laughs> How could he possibly have an accident when he's, when he's prepared <laughs> that thoroughly? Do you know what I did to de-ice my car? I'd boil, like, three kettles, and then when they were hot, just chuck one over it. That can crack the windscreen now. Excellent I intervention from Gemma Collins, <laughs> eh? Why? Because you're putting boiling hot water on cold. 
so it can crack. I can't believe we're getting science. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really impressed. We're doing a bit Thank of science you. together. So hot water on cold, don't do it. Yeah, because yeah, it, it, it will crack and shatter and it could be dangerous. Because it expands too quickly, isn't it? Yes. JC. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. JC, the JC, yeah. great to have you here. Thank you. What do you make of this Harry and Meghan thing? Because they don't like the press attention. Um, I feel that the best thing they can do, ultimately, in life, all you want is to see people happy. If they're happy in Canada, let them go to Canada. That's lovely. Yeah. That's how I feel. OK. But good. Let them go and do a day's hard work and see what we all have to do. I, I mean, Gemma, well, 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 hang on. <laughs> <laughs> What's the last day's work you did? <laughs> Jimmy! I suppose you fucked Dars, yeah. <laughs> Jimmy! That don't take a Jimmy. day. <laughs> <laughs> but what's the average working day for the GC? Are you wake... a legend? Yes, What yes. do you do? Well, I wake up at four. What? I do some meditation. Boy, come on. Four in the <laughs> afternoon? No, four <laughs> in the <laughs> Four in the morning. I always wake at four because it's the only peace and quiet I get to, like, do my emails. Um, is that me that's meditation now? Is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Emails, meditation. Yeah. Well, yeah, I wake up, have a cup of tea, meditate, right, think, right, let's seize the day, do my emails, and then literally. Back to bed for five hours. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be picked up about seven o'clock. I go into my boutique, I sort the stock out, then I have some TV work, meetings, I do a podcast. You do, um, what's your podcast? Jimmy! It's the number one podcast. For Jim who? And Collins podcast. <laughs> you can get loads of information on there. Gardening, crystals. Gemma's mum pops on with some advice. Yes. No. It's the next best thing out there. It will change your life. Yeah, but will it make it better? Because um... <laughs> <laughs> you have you have a lot of paparazzi following you. All the time. I've had to move three times. Really? I always give people a fake address now. Oh, do you? Yeah. How do they get to your house? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, just as <laughs> That's yeah. a good question. Sometimes I get followed. I have been followed. Um, you know. Sometimes they just follow the delivery driver. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, me and Stormzy are the only people in the UK to have a delivery platinum card. Delivery platinum. Tell yes. me everything about this. Because so, it used to be the thing was like the Nando's yes. black card was the shit. Yeah. It's What's well, it's, this? It's only me and Stormzy. It's... Do you have to eat together? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'd what, love to eat. What with do you Stormzy. get? Is it free delivery? I think it's say like twelve thousand pounds a year, Whoa. or it might be six thousand. Wow! And joke. we're sort of halfway through January, so that's gone now. Yeah, <laughs> that went weeks ago. That went weeks ago. <laughs> what's your What's your favourite? What's your go-to on delivery? Um, I've got to say, I love a bit of Pizza Hut. I'm not going to lie, I Old do school. love a pizza <laughs> or the the Brown Derby from Wimpy. Yeah. Oh, it was the best. The, the Brown, Brown Derby. Derby. <laughs> Donut, ice cream on top, loads of chocolate sauce and oh, lashings of nuts. Lashings of nuts. <laughs> That's what they do in Saudi Arabia, isn't it? <laughs> Are you, you're a vegan, yes? Uh, well... <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, I started off being a vegetarian. I'm more vegan now because I've then become very aware lately... <coughs> Bullshit, how... sorry. No, recently I, I was shown how the cows are treated to get the milk. Hence, I now drink oat milk every Wait. day. Have you seen Wait. what they did to those oats, though? <laughs> and if the real truth was told of how they get milk from cows, mm. trust me, no one would be drinking it. How do they get milk from cows? Because I think they milk them. No. <laughs> the only time I've got interest in football is when Peter Crouch and David Beckham are playing. And <laughs> basically, that famous yeah. heartthrob, Peter Crouch. I love him. <laughs> oh, that David. dance he does. That dance really? he does. That's not it. You're the only one. <laughs> You're thinking of dressage. <laughs> <laughs> I love Spurs. That's who I support. Right. Who and they're not the playing, are they, in the Euros? They're not playing in the Euros. <laughs> no, they're not <laughs> As a Spurs fan, you'll know that uh, the Spurs manager left this week. His name was... Uh, Jose Mourinho. Jose Mourinho. <laughs> Jose Mourinho. Jose Mourinho. He's got quite a Cockney him. accent now. He's really picked up English, Jose Mourinho. Oh, is it Harry Redknapp? Harry Redknapp. That's it. I love Harry. I He's love gone. Harry. John's team, what do you think the nation would be talking about? The snow. Oh, Gemma, straight in there. Well, because it was, like, really changed all the colour of the country and stuff. <laughs> 
How do you mean it's changed the colour of the country? Is it quite insightful? No, because when you look out your window, like, obviously there's grass and there's grey buildings and, yeah. like, you drive through London, but when it snows, it's yeah. beautiful. So I think that's a hot topic to talk about. That's good. Yeah. It's a cold topic. Can I just say something? Are you on the way to a wedding now? No. It's especially for you. Well, thank you very much. Because you look much. like the man from Del Monte in that suit. Thank you. <laughs> But basically, you know... You said yes a few times, I would imagine. <laughs> basically, the church... Oi, oi, pack it in. The church... <laughs> oh, I that one. The, um, you know, the church has this thing, you know, we will welcome anyone through our doors and everything. And really, a lot of people hide in the church. You know, you've got a lot of these people that work in churches. You see documentaries on it. They've molested children when they have been in their church. Right. So I don't think the church has the right to turn around and say, if you're gay, you can't get married in the church because what goes on in a lot of churches isn't 100% anyway. <laughs> Take that. Yeah. Well, good. Of course I know what you mean. A lot of what happens in churches ain't 100%. <laughs> that is a fact. <laughs> um, Gemma, what do you make of Trump? Um, one, how the hell did he get... Your fake tan recipe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one, how the hell did Donald Trump get to be president? Oh, sorry, you missed that. <laughs> You're so <laughs> late on that. <laughs> sorry. Gemma, <laughs> seriously, that, years but ago. One minute he's in Trump Towers. Yes, he was the presenter of The Apprentice. Yeah. And then he became... President. Yeah. yeah. There's Four hope for me yet. There's hope for me yet. Yes. <laughs> well, what, would you run for office? Um, well, I think I could do one day. If, if Donald no, no, Trump no, no, can no, no, do no, no, it, no, 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 the GC can do it. <laughs> he clearly is very strange. Um, <laughs> and he's the point. president of the United States. Yes. This yes. is a concern and a worry. <laughs> 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 I like the way you talk to me like I've just arrived from space. <laughs> right. well, she doesn't know about Brexit yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, the reason I'm talking like this is because I'm having to think because I'm talking yeah, it's to It's a nightmare, you. isn't it? So, <laughs> why is there a war there? Because they've caught Osama bin Laden. Good question. They've, they've caught Saddam Hussein. Yeah. So what's what they're fighting for now? Basically, yeah, the question. Taliban don't but, like fun. No. <laughs> At war with Afghanistan because they've got loads of grit. <laughs> and, and that is what Britain needs every winter, doesn't have enough grit, and that is why Britain <laughs> is in <laughs> Afghanistan getting all the grit. I just think it's all a waste of money. Like, you know, these wars cost money and stuff, surely. They do. It's a waste of money. It's You're the waste... people that gave us the jazzles. Let's not start. No. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll let you go. Get it. TV license is going up, gas is going up, electric's going up. Share it with someone, but don't bring paperwork into the eventual demise of your love. I think it's respect. If you actually marry someone, it, it shows that, you know, there's respect there. Right. Because, you know... You, <laughs> what? Listen, you get a nice ring out of it, and not only that, <laughs> basically, you have a fantastic day, but if you've been with someone for years and they can't even get down to Tiffany's and buy you a decent oh ring, God. get them gold. <laughs> Do you not know where Tiffany's is? Yeah, Bond Street. Nip down and get one yourself then, love. Um, <laughs> no, I'm not that. I can buy my own room. I think it's really boring, full stop. <laughs> and what is the Olympics going to do for us? What, what's it all about? I... I don't know what... <laughs> I don't know where to begin. <laughs> How is it going to change our lives? It's not. It's not going to change your life, no. No. <laughs> it's not going to change my life. You know, we've got the football, we've got the tennis, we've got dancing on ice. What more do you need? GC, have you ever been hacked? I have had incidents where I've been talking on the phone and I feel like someone has tapped in. That, well, you just chatting to someone else, yeah. Yeah, no. no. <laughs> are, you, are you saying you've been chatting on the phone and someone else got a word in edgeways? Yeah. <laughs> Hang on, who's that? <laughs> grab those. There you go. Perfect, lovely. Hang on. Thank JC, you. you grab those. Oh, and they're oh, late. 0.5%. Um, I don't they're not vegan. Yeah. I'm going to have to try this, aren't I, cos I'm on this show. You're I mean, you, you <laughs> haven't taken much convincing. <laughs>
you're a vegan, I'll take your respect. I'll tell you what, they're <laughs> they are delicious, though. <laughs> 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 leave it. Leave it. They are delicious. They are delicious. Have you tried it? No, 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 no,
I'll take I know it what the here. word is, but I don't know really what a referendum is. <laughs> <laughs> it's like getting your news in Braille and you're wearing gloves. <laughs> They're saying we're going to have a referendum, which is a vote on whether we're in or out of Europe. That's what oh, that's what it was saying. about. Yeah, I know now. That's it, yeah. <laughs> I think what we're proving here is that there should not be a referendum on Europe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the way to do it, isn't it? How long did you last in the jungle, Jim? Well, it was genuinely six days, but you only saw, I think, about two or three. Yeah, I actually um, went to the Bush Tucker trial and asked Bob if he could bring me a Diet Coke. <laughs> and they said no. <laughs> Unfortunately, I said, I'm really sorry, I'm not going to be able to do this. I've got to go. <laughs> <laughs> what shoes you got on? Uh, think, uh, so we want you to, to judge these shoes, right. Gemma. I'm going to be like shoes. Simon Cowell now. Have these shoes got the X Factor? <laughs> 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 yes, they have. <laughs> But I'm not looking at him as a potential husband. Why not? Because I'm with someone now. Oh, my God! <laughs> oh, oh. You don't know. Put your shoe away, Reg. You're not in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mean I wasted my time putting my shoe away? <laughs> Let's have Sylvia Berlusconi. OK. This week it was reported that 76-year-old billionaire and former Italian Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi is suing a magazine for photographing him with a harem of beautiful young women. So we asked our studio audience, do you find powerful people more attractive, yes or no? Yes. <laughs> you know that book, Fifty Shades of Grey? Yeah. yeah. The guy Mainly that was that. in it was a very powerful... <laughs> like, he, he did turn out to be a weirdo, but he was really <laughs> powerful. And he had that hold over that woman, and it just shows you that women do like that sort of thing. It wasn't yeah. so much a hold as a clamp. Yeah. <laughs> The rules of carrot in a box are simple. You both have a box, but only one of the boxes has a carrot in it. <laughs> the aim of the game is to end up with a carrot. It's a game of bluff. OK, Catherine, yeah. in a moment, I'll ask you to look in your box. <laughs> if you don't have the carrot, then you have to bluff Gemma into her giving you her box. But ultimately, it's Gemma's choice whether she keeps her box or swaps it with your box. Okay. So, Catherine, look in your box. Yep. OK, Catherine, you want a carrot. Gemma, you want a carrot. Let's play. Count in a box. I can confirm, Gemma. There is a carrot in my box. <laughs> right, I know a black when I see one. I used to be a car dealer. There's a carrot in that box. Yes, there is a carrot in the box. <laughs> yeah, there is. There is a carrot in the box. You're right. <laughs> I know that there's a carrot in that box by the first bit of conversation you did. I told you there was a carrot in the box, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I think you were saying that to flag me. I could be wrong, but I do think there's a carrot in that box. <laughs> <laughs> Would you lie to GC? No, I wouldn't. But you want the carrot. Listen, babes, I'll be honest. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, literally, <laughs> literally a carrot in my fanny and the box. <laughs> I think there is, yeah. You sure? Yeah. Never, never been surer. You've never, <laughs> never been surer? No. <laughs> I thought the aim of this game was to tell if there's a carrot in the box. Yes. <laughs> right. That is the aim of the I game. think there's a carrot in that box. Can we lift the lid and can I sit back down, honey? <laughs> Please. <laughs> Just this game thing excites me out. No? Yeah. I do think there's a carrot in that box. I'm sorry, and your complaint is you've been standing up for too long. <laughs> Fucking hell, GC. Put me out of my misery. Open that box and <laughs> let me sit back down, please. Next to Robert. <laughs> yes. To be fair to Gemma, she's got a long journey home. She'd give her cab driver free addresses. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gemma, it's your decision. Do you want to swap with Catherine's box or do you want to keep your own? Swap. The box, the carrot's mine. Okay, all right. Is there a carrot in that box? Yeah! Well done, Gemma. So that means the winner of carrot box is Gemma! <laughs> she won a carrot. It was the same color change. Oh good. my god. Put it up again. It's the same colour, isn't it? <laughs> Listen, I'm too clued up. I'm not. I could learn a lot from you. People lie to me all the time, and I don't know until I'm pregnant. <laughs> what age were you when you moved out? 31. <laughs> you moved out last year. Yeah, they started putting the news on, too. No, right, the best thing. <laughs> <laughs> you moved you know out what? last year. 
last year? Well, the best thing about living at home with my mum and dad was I used to ring them from the bedroom and say, can you put the kettle on and stuff like that. And I know it sounds really bad, but we are from Essex and that's what you do there. But what if you were well, in that paper and you're back? Because I think the, the hardest thing would be making excuses. If you want to bring someone back and you live with your parents and you've got to pretend they're like your housemates. <laughs> Just do it in your front room. I moved in here quite young, yeah. Um, hang on, hang on. Hang on a second. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Just do it in the front room. If your mum and dad are upstairs, just take them in the front room. Just take them in the front room. What a lovely thought. <laughs> yeah, this, this is a weird one. I know I'm usually, I know I'm usually upstairs and you're down, but I'm downstairs shagging and I am gasping. <laughs> What's the most common thing people lie about? What do you think, GC, in your experience? Definitely their age. How? Sorry, I can't ask. I'm 38 years old. And you've been on the telly. You've been in our lives for 10, for 10 years. years. Mm. It's great. It what seem... have you learned over those ten years? Have you ever lied in those ten years? To... Yeah. Well, I was engaged. I was oh. engaged to Rami. Yes. I remember. And <laughs> <laughs> it's a terrible thing, but I could admit it. Go on. I went to Vegas. Arch called me up from his hotel room and he said, "Hello, do you want to come down to the room to see me?" <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Was you, what's no, going on? Basically. Was you out there on your own? Was Rami there? No, Bobby was in the room. Who's, Who's Bobby? Bobby? <laughs> <laughs> Bobby's on the show. Oh, your mate was Bobby, on yeah. Tally. Okay. So I say to Bob, oh, Bob, just going to pop down to get us a drink from downstairs. So he's like, all right then, babe, I'll have a pina colada. Oh, no. So Bobby don't know I'm going to see Arge. Have a penis colada. <laughs> <laughs> I had a, a very, very, very good penis colada, <gasps> yes. <laughs> And Bobby covered my back. But Arge did as well. <laughs> did Bobby ever get his drink? No, Bobby was left gasping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you weren't. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's terrible, but you do silly things yeah. when you're young. It wasn't silly. Arch is your true luck, and what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, so you're good there, I yeah. think. Yeah, it definitely Karma hasn't lie. stayed in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think people must lie about sleeping with people. Okay. Well, that number nine on the list is how many people they've slept with. Um, yes. <laughs> I mean, I've got a point. It's number nine. We're looking for the number one. Oh. <laughs>